So I'm gonna share with you guys our baby chicks that we hatched. Some of them, the one in the box hatched yesterday and that one is having some problems. So we're taking care of it, but we have nine all together and we have another one hatching in the incubator right now. And then I have about 20 some out in the garage <clears throat> that are gonna be hatching sometime this month. Okay, we are going to be starting our hatching of our chicken eggs. Um, I have a lady friend of mine that usually gives me um, some of her chicken eggs and then we use some of mine. I marked them, uh, the ones that we, or that are ours, so I have them marked. And then the reason why it's peeping is because I just lifted the cover to put some more water in uh, because it needs to stay at a certain uh, temperature and humidity. And because I lifted it up, it, it does that. So now it's starting to go back to normal. I also have an internal thermometer that we put in there to keep track just in case this one isn't accurate. I already had this running for a day with water in it. And now I'm going to be putting our, fat, uh, our fresh eggs in. So these are from yesterday and today, and they say that they hatch best if they are from the day or day before. So you are going to hear some beeping because I'm going to put these in here. And ours is a, like a one that um, flips the eggs for us because this one does it for us. So I don't need to do that. So for right now, we just keep these in here for a period of 18 days for right now. And then on the 18th day, then we have to change the humidity level for the last um, couple days. So all together, the eggs will stay in here for 21 to 22 days, depending on um, when they start hatching. Anytime after that, it pretty much means that they're not gonna make it. But within six to seven days, I am gonna check them with a flashlight in the dark, and that'll let me know which ones are fertilized and which ones possibly will hatch. We've done this last year twice, and when we did a dozen eggs, we got about 15 in one and eight in another. But we're gonna start out with this one. Um, I do have it in the house so we can keep an eye on it. And then that's what I can see from the outside. And then I'll just uh, keep watching this in here. And then I'll keep monitoring this. Eventually the beeping will go off once it stabilizes itself. Um, but I'm gonna come back in a couple more days and then we'll start uh, checking each egg to see which one um, is fertile and which one is gonna make it. It's gonna help here and we ended up getting a new hatchery and Miles Ooh. is gonna check yeah. some. Whoa. Okay, that doesn't yeah. really look like anything. So, Wait. what is it called? Hatchery. Incubator. Incubator. There's, one. Yeah. Yeah. There's one. There's one. Okay. This might be a possibility. It's hard to pick up on here. It's oh, if it's you guys big. can see, yeah, oh, yeah there's dark in there. It's, it's moving. Okay. It's moving a little bit. Well, it might move a little bit because of the yolk part, but just um, go slow. Why don't you grab one of the blue ones in back? Because them for sure have stuff in them. Okay. The ones up front might not have anything. So if you guys can see right here on top and then inside here are little veins. Yeah, maybe that, there. If you guys can see that it's starting to um, form right in here and that's how we know that they're fertile. Well, Lachlan is helping with this incubator. We switched over to our bigger one for um, the other one that we have in the house. This one makes a little bit more noise than the one that we have in the house. So we have this one out in the garage and then we just got um, a lot of eggs from a lady that we know. So Lachlan's gonna fill this one up. And Miles found this one in our chicken coop yesterday or the other day. And this one might be um, our duck egg, but we're not sure yet. So we'll, we'll find out. 
So these are gonna stay in here for 21 days. Well, I'm gonna put this in. Sure. And then um, I'll come back in like four or five days and see if any of them are fertile. We'll be able to tell if any of them have um, have any like starting of anything. So we'll come back and check on that, but otherwise this one's gonna stay outside and then I just monitor um, the humidity and stuff um, on here. So I keep putting hot water in this one, but um, we'll come back and check, right? Yeah. He started to take out these eggs. I'm not quite sure what? what's going on with this one right now, but it's day three and I need to continue to take Yay. out Yay. these eggs. Yay. And then what I need to do, hold on, don't touch. What I need to do is I'm going to take this part out. And then I'm probably gonna have to clean inside there and get all of that, no, get all of that cleaned out. Um, so I'm gonna come back and do that after. But what I need to do is just lay them in here like this. And then in the next like day or two, they're going to hatch all in here right like this. This one I'm kind of, I eh, don't know what to do about that one yet. But, and I'm thinking that's why it's all yucky in there unless that one is hatching ahead of time before I was able to get it off of um, where it rotates. But for right now, this is just what I'm gonna do. And last year we hatched um, two batches and this year we're gonna do two batches also. I have another batch in a different incubator out in the garage. So these are ready to go and them other ones have quite a bit of time. Okay, so I put the cover back on and this is the part that I need to take off and then I, I unplugged it. So this is no longer gonna be working and this all this did is rotate them a couple times a day and then um, they still have like the moisture and stuff inside that they need so I have that all still going now it's at 25 percent that and that needs to get up to like 70 percent it's just because I took the cover off and then the where it says low that needs to get up to 95.5 um, degrees and then it should be good for the next couple days and then these little spots which i'm missing a little plug in right there but it's the other one is like that um it's just off to the side here i need to grab it and these little things are um to help when they start hatching this gives extra oxygen and stuff in there and then eventually um, when they're all hatched, then we take out both of them and then it um, dries up the little chicks that are inside there. So we're gonna check on that in a couple days, like another day or two and see if any of them are going to be hatching. Um, and I'll be able to check right through this cover here. So it'll be fun to watch, but we'll come back and we'll check on that. We are on day 20. So we actually have one more day and I can't remember which one it was. Let's see here. Now, I don't want to have the incubator open too long, but I just want to show you that this one is already starting to crack open. So it's just best that I, you know, keep the incubator shut. So maybe within like, the next like day or so, that one will already be hatching. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna check on that. And then maybe by tomorrow, there'll be some more trying to hatch. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but within the last like couple of hours, a piece of it here, maybe I can show you quick. A piece of it popped off. So that's in with a couple hours. So I'm thinking by tonight, it should already be hatched. We already have another one trying to hatch. Then we have that one over there still, but this one just started, so. We're hatching. These two you can tell right there. And then we have... There's six hatching, but... That one. Seven, actually. You guys can see. Let's see. This one right in the middle is, there's like a little crack if you guys can tell and then this blue one right down there is 
cracking. It, you can't really see it from here, but that one is. And then we have a couple other ones. But this one is making noises. Let's see. You can see it moving. was chirping just before but you can see it moving so cute. takes a while I'm gonna probably name that one Chikatina oh that one's opening up more <gasps> And so did that one. It just packed a little more. It did? Yeah. You can see it? Yeah. I saw a little bit of a peck out more. And then we have some other ones. When we put the eggs in the incubator, we kind of did them on different days. So some of them might be a day off or so.
trying to hatch out. He was trying to break through that layer right there. I'm gonna cry. And then there's one back here too that it, the shell. brother so oh, it wants oh, to get oh. out. You keep falling. That one just burst through. What? What? So all of them are different colors, and this one is a little blondie, so we got one, two, three, wait, we got five in there right now. So this is the first one that was hatched, and it still has its little thing on it, so that'll come off. That one has to be with them. Bird's gonna get you? Yeah. So, Reese.
right now we have nine, and we have eight black ones and one little blonde one. And the other ones are waiting to be matched. I'm not sure yet. This little guy is our last one, and he's still having a hard time staying upright. So this is a, this guy hatched today, and these other ones yesterday. Um, so they're doing really good. We didn't give them any food yet, so that's gonna be next. But right now, I just wanna, I just wanna um, clean up this uh, incubator and get it all cleaned up and put some fresh paper towels on and get the cover back on and get some heat in here. So just wanted to give you guys a quick peek at them. <laughs> They gonna get you? No. No. Okay, so we're gonna take out the baby chicks and put them in our holder that we have. Um, why don't you go put this one in there and then this is the one that we're gonna give some stuff to. So we're gonna start putting them in there. Okay, so we're gonna put these guys in there. I have some, some electrolytes and some probiotics. I'm gonna add some electrolytes and stuff into the water. And then um, I have one baby chick that needs a little bit of help. So we're gonna give him some in a syringe. And I learned a little, I just learned a little trick that I just watched on YouTube is if you take like sponge pieces and you put them in the water, the chicks won't jump inside the water and they won't drown. And we didn't do this last time. So um, we're gonna give this a try. They did like rocks and stuff in theirs. But um, we had these cut up sponges from an activity, so I think this will this will work. And then when you have a chick like this, so we put our, our light in there. That that just keeps everybody or all the chicks nice and warm. But this little guy doesn't have like strong legs to be able to push himself over. So we're gonna give him a little bit of the electrolyte water um, in just a regular medicine syringe. So we're just gonna give it just a little bit. <laughs> I don't want that. Look at what That won't help me. This is Evelyn's first time seeing chickens, so she's a little, a little excited. And the baby chicks are ready. Let's see if you guys can see. If you guys can see that they already found starter food. So I gave them a little bit of the food in the incubator yesterday and they liked it. So they're gonna sit and eat that for a little bit. And then, here I'll come on this side. So with this baby chick, what I can do is wet down some of that food. Um, and then it can eat some wet, <laughs> wet chicken food. And this, we've had other chickens that were weak and weren't able to like survive. And I don't think that's the problem with this one. I just think it's, 
has what's called, I think, called sprayed, spade leg or whatever, where their legs stick out to the side. So we might have to tape its legs. It's like a little jittery. Mm -hmm. pretty much our whole video from kind of step by step us putting the eggs in the incubator and then waiting our 21 days and then hatching and then putting them into the the area that we need to put them in until we put them outside so they'll stay in here for a while and we have a bigger container that we put them in when we put them outside in the garage. So that'll be the next step and then we'll maybe do like a part two video on that. So, but for right now, this is where they're gonna stay for a little while and they'll stay underneath the heat and stuff here. But this little guy needs a little bit more help. So we're gonna try to help this little guy. What's the other one? He's a little guy. This little one, right? Yeah, you see that. <laughs> it is sticking out to the side. That's funny. You can't stick it on my chicken. I might have to do something with this one. <laughs> I think he'll be strong if I can get him on the... So I want to share with you guys our baby chicks that we hatched. Some of them, the one in the box hatched yesterday and that one is having some problems, so we're taking care of it. But we have nine all together and we have another one hatching in the incubator right now. And then I have about 20 some out in the garage <clears throat> that are gonna be hatching sometime this month. Um, so, these guys are about a day or two old. We just have one little blondie in there. Otherwise, these are um, a mix of other kinds. So um, we get our eggs from a friend of ours and then we use our eggs too from our hens. So we have a mix of her chickens and our chickens. So just a little bit of cuteness today. Okay, so we cleaned out their little container that they're in. We put, Gigi got a stick to go in there and then 
we had to put their water up on something so that they don't keep getting wood shavings in and then all their food in that egg crate so that's where they're gonna stay for a little bit and then we move them out to the garage yeah. do you like them yeah yeah like to sit on this chickens that we hatched um, maybe like a week ago I think so them are over there and we just got our shipment in the mail today so we have some ducks in there two turkeys in there and then seven uh, broiler chickens which will be our meat chickens so we got a little duck right there there's a duck there's a duck Here's a turkey. Oh, another turkey in there somewhere. So we all got a bunch of them. And then we still have ones that are going to be hatching in the next couple days. And then we'll try to introduce them all together. So now we got the two turkeys right here. These little guys. Other little guys are getting so big. There's the duckies. Another duck over there. Two ducks over there. Turkey in the middle. Here is an update of how big the the little guys are from uh, when we got them on the 27th of April. So them are the little tiny ducks that we purchased. And then these are the little meat uh, chickens, the little broiler chickens. And that is the first group of chickens that we hatched. And if you guys remember in the video, we had one that really couldn't walk or was having a problem walking on um, its leg and stuff like that. So um, we actually don't know which one it is. So he is doing really good after I taped up its legs for a little bit and that helped. So I think I did it like four days and that helped um, build up its leg muscles again so he was able to walk and then we still have a couple little tiny ones that hatched a little bit after them are the ones that we put in the outside garage in part of the video where Lachlan was putting the eggs in the outside one so that's still the little ones and then um we have our little duck right there the darker one He's the little guy that you guys saw hatch in the video. So we got everybody together now from the beginning videos of everybody hatching and then our purchase of our turkeys and ducks. So here's our group two weeks later. This is how big they're getting. Ducks are getting pretty big. So we'll keep them out in this outside, um, or this is in our garage for right now. So these guys will stay in here for a while and then 
when we're able to and when they're bigger then we'll transfer them out to a place that we have outside in another coop and then we'll probably be separating our turkeys and our broiler chickens um, we'll be keeping them together and then all the other ones will go together in a different coop so we have to update that a little bit and then um and they'll all be together out there so but they're getting so big right now and everybody is getting along so all right hopefully you guys like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one